Good evening. Welcome to the Wednesday edition of Newsmax Prime. I'm J.D. Hayworth. Of prime interest tonight, Servergate suspicions mount. As Hillary Clinton continues to campaign, the questions surrounding her email scandal also continue to grow. Yesterday, the former Secretary of State grew frustrated at a press conference, especially with one reporter. Miranda Khan has more from our Newsmax Prime newsroom. Miranda? J.D., that reporter, Ed Henry of Fox News, questioned Mrs. Clinton repeatedly about whether she had all of her emails removed from the server. Take a listen. Did you try to wipe the entire, so that there'd be no email, no personal, no official, wipe well, the whole thing? Well, my personal emails are my personal business, right. right? So I, so we went through a painstaking process and turned over 55,000 pages of anything we thought could be work-related. Under the law, that decision is made by the official. I was the official. And that back and forth exchange didn't stop there with Hillary Clinton giving an answer many call kind of flippant, especially considering the national security implications. I could say, I'm, you know, I don't, I have no idea. That's why we turned it over. You were in charge of it. You were the official in charge. Did you wipe the server? What, like with a cloth or something? No, well, no. You know how it works digitally? Did you try to wipe the whole thing? I don't know how it works digitally at all. Well, as you might imagine, that answer isn't sitting very well with many in Washington, including General Michael Hayden, who was on MSNBC's Morning Joe program earlier today. Hayden, the former director of both the NSA and CIA, was asked what he would do about a foreign minister who had done the same thing, as Mrs. Clinton is accused of doing in discussing the commingling of both personal and official emails. I'd move heaven and earth to access the private email account of a foreign minister. And I'd really go after an email account in which the official and the unofficial emails were commingled. So you put a very juicy target out there. As for Mrs. Clinton, she abruptly ended that news conference after the testy exchange, stopping only to answer a question about whether she thinks this story will go away. Hillary shouted back and shrugging, quote, no one is talking about it except you guys. JD? Thanks, Miranda. For more on this story, we're joined by the man you saw just a couple of seconds ago, the former director of both the CIA and the NSA, now a principal in the Chertoff Group, General Michael Hayden, who joins us from Newsmax, Washington. Michael, let's just get down to brass tacks. The national security implications of what Mrs. Clinton is accused of doing, what are they? Well, J.D., as I tried to suggest in that earlier piece, even the unclassified, unofficial emails of an important foreign dignitary, a foreign minister was the phrase I used, would be a legitimate and worthwhile intelligence target. And then when you start throwing in the official emails inside that same batch, a foreign intelligence service, if it chooses to target that server, is going after something that would actually have great intelligence value. And here, J.D., I'm not even saying there's anything officially classified in the emails. That's why a lot of folks like me never had smartphones or cell phones while we were on active service because we just made the assumption, even in our national capital, that a bunch of foreign intelligence services would try to target those instruments to extract information of intelligence value. I'm just kind of curious. When I was elected to Congress, we had orientation. The lawyers came in. They told us about ethics and what we could and couldn't do. Did you undergo something similar at the CIA and the NSA? And do you imagine the State Department officials get some sort of briefing on conduct before they step into those sensitive roles? J.D., I, I think we all do. And it's, it's, a, it's a common experience. And, and I would simply say that the sin in all of this is the original sin. Frankly, J.D., there is no way to make this come out happy if you commingle your government and your private emails and then put all of them on a private server as opposed to a government server. You're just setting in motion a, a whole series of things, and it doesn't require anyone to be stupid or malevolent. If you set it up that way, it's going to end up in a bad place, and that's the bad place we're in now. And that bad place, if you had to handicap it, what do you think the likelihood is that foreign intelligence services have access to Mrs. Clinton's emails? J.D., hard to say, so I won't give you a number, 
but a foreign intelligence service of some merit, if they were interested in those emails, I would give them a high probability of success that they would be able to penetrate that system. Uh Let's go to the political side of this, and it's worth noting that Donald Trump has been reacting to this uh, scandal. He spoke with the magazine The Hollywood Reporter, and he said, Hillary has problems far greater than the nomination. If you look at what's going on with emails, it's a fraud if you think about it. This looks like Watergate on steroids, frankly. Now, Mike, he went on to say this is worse than what General Petraeus did. And he thinks Mrs. Clinton could get 20 years. Now, aside from the sentencing, the severity of what is at stake here in terms of national security? Well, J.D., I mean, the really correct answer is we don't know. We, we don't know the character and the content of the information that was on this private server. Now, it's already been indicated that at least the Intelligence Community's Inspector General believes some of that data was classified, and a couple of messages contained information that he believes were classified top secret. So, I mean, that's not a trivial deal at all, and we just have to get to the bottom of it to understand what may or may not have been out there. And moreover, Michael, we understand the server was kept in a restroom by a mom-and-pop company in Colorado. That's just bizarre. Is that not a breach in and of itself? Well, J.D., the breach is using a private server of any character for your official government account. Now, look, there are a lot of mom-and-pops out there that are really technologically on the cutting edge. I have no idea what this firm was or pretended to be. But, but I, I do agree with you. That just brings up one more thing we need to get to the bottom of before we make a final judgment here. Michael, there are other stories we need your input and expertise on. According to AP, Iran, in what is termed an unusual arrangement, will be allowed to use its own experts to inspect a site it allegedly used to develop nuclear arms under a secret agreement with the UN agency that normally carries out such work. Is there any basis in reality or rationality for this kind of arrangement? Well, look, I'm sure the IAEA is, is going to try to make this as true an inspection as possible. But, J.D., my instinctive reaction is the, the same as yours. How far are we going to bend over to get a Iranian agreement to do something they have already previously promised to do. J.D., this is about what's called PMDs, the possible military dimensions of the program. And look, we know there were military dimensions in the past, and the Iranians have consistently lied about those military dimensions. J.D., in the Air Force, we call this pencil whipping an exercise. This is going to get a check in the box so that we can then move forward looking ahead with regard to the agreement. In other words, this, this arrangement is letting the Iranians off the hook about coming clean on the previous military dimensions of their program. Michael Hayden trying to explain, in essence, what I deem to be inexplicable in terms of Iran and this proposed nuclear agreement. General Hayden, as always, sir, you have our thanks. Still to come, Carly Fiorina surging in the polls. Former Congresswoman Nan Hayworth will tell us what's behind the momentum. Later, hackers release personal info from the cheating website Ashley Madison with some names and email addresses that have links to Washington. Stephen J.J. Weissman weighs in. But first, Donald Trump is closing in on Hillary Clinton in the latest polls. Ford O'Connell and Brad Gerstmann go inside those numbers as Newsmax Prime continues. Newsmax Prime is brought to you by Lear Capital, America's precious metals leader since 1997.